Hello there. If you are a developer, you might need to know what's happening on your website or web application. Once it deployed to production, you might need to collect some data from users to understand uh, metrics beyond the page load time. So for this use case, um, New Relic is a really good tool and it, to understand users' behavior and get lots of metrics from users. So it's really easy to set up and basically I'm going to show you with this video how to set up, how to getting started with New Relic browser for especially for front-end applications. For this video we are going to use Next.js and we will set up New Relic browser application. So enjoy! So first thing is to go to New Relic and sign up with your email and name. So verify your email address, select your, your area, Europe or United States and you will end up in the New Relic dashboard. So click on the browser and then add your first application and here you have to check the copy paste JavaScript code. Then give a name to your application. So now you get this um, JavaScript code, you, you will need this code. So first thing I'm going to go to my project and open in VS Code. So in Next.js you have a public folder, it's a public folder, create a JS folder if you don't have already one and then create a new relic.js file. You can name this any, anything you want. And now go back and copy paste the JavaScript code you got from the new relic application. Make sure to remove the script tag because we are already in the JavaScript file. Now I'm going to start my application. So now if you go to browser and uh, go to slash js slash new relic.js, you will see the file here. All right. Now if you already don't have a document underscore document file. Uh, please create the underscore document.js file. Here uh, you need to include an async script with js new relic.js. And now if you run to go to your application, just go to some pages and uh, just to collect some data for new relic. Let's go back to the new relate page and see if we have any data recorded in the dashboard. You click on the application and you might see already some data and I covered my turns. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.